Alright, so here we are. First Let's Play in, um, I don't know, maybe two years? You want to count those old ones as real ones, but here we are anyway. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna play some, uh, some Destiny. Everybody likes that game, right? So here we go. We're just gonna hit start. And, uh, checking storage devices. I'm pretty sure I don't have any save files for this game. I haven't, I haven't played it with this, uh, this profile yet. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you my real profile. Oh, my bad. This is Dead Rising 2 off the record. I thought this was Destiny. That's weird. I, ins I installed the game and everything with updates. Thought for sure it was Destiny. It said Destiny on the box. That's why you shouldn't go to GameStop. It totally ripped me off. So anyway. I guess we're gonna play this game now. We're gonna play uh, Dead Dead Rising 2 off the record. I'm totally, 100%, completely, gonna talk over the cutscenes. I uh, will try to get over that. Anyway, you don't really need to hear what Frank West is saying to enjoy him. All you have to do is look at him. Just look at that guy. Look at that girl. Hmm. Hmm, girl. She is nice. I don't know how he got that. When I first watched this, I thought that was a cigar in his left hand. It's not. It's a really large pen. He's using for uh, for autographs right there? Always wearing his sunglasses. I wish I could take selfies with zombies. Actually, I think you can. What game can you do that? I know there's a game you can actually... This game. I mean, um, spoiler, not this game. But if it was this game, I'm totally gonna show you it. We're, do we're totally gonna watch it. So I guess I should specify exactly what we're gonna be doing in this Let's Play. This is, well, it's not a Let's Play. It's a walkthrough. We'll get to let. Oh man, he's ripped. We'll get the. We'll get the Let's Plays. So don't worry about it. Uh, I don't know what kind of Let's Plays we're gonna be getting into. You just have to wait and see. He went bankrupt, I guess. At least he's still ripped. He didn't miss leg day either. Anyway, um. So this is going to be a full walkthrough of this game. This is going to be a casual walkthrough. I'm not going to 100% it. If I remember correctly, I don't I don't even think like there is a percentile for this game. It's not like 100%. We are going to get the best ending possible. I want to say it's like the S ending. It uh it could very well not be that. But we are going to we are we are going to go for it and we are hopefully going to get it. I don't want to get sued for false advertising. So those look like real zombies, and that looks like a real unitard. Leotard? Spandex. It's a one. It's a one piece for sure, though. So we're here. Um. We're here. Uh, uh, T T R acting. Terror's reality. T I R. T I R. I'm, I'm not. I'm dyslexic. Anyway. Yeah. Sorry, sir. Sorry, it's just paperwork. This is um. This is uh. I guess you should. I, if you don't know, this is not canon to the Dead Rising series. Um. It is a spin-off alternate reality type game that is supposed to act as a sequel to the first Dead Rising. The actual sequel was uh, Dead Rising 2, not off the record, because it was on the record. I cough, that was me in case you're wondering. Wow. Don't get nervous. I am alone. So I you have my full attention. Alright, anyway. I guess that dude's a fanboy. I'm just so excited to get this game rolling. Oh, we are gonna, I'm not going to skip any of the cutscenes. I'm going to watch the cutscenes because the cutscenes are my time to talk to you and enjoy your company and complain. I like to complain a lot. I'm gonna complain. I'm probably take a drink. I'm gonna take a drink. The best thing about the cutscenes is <sighs> cold water. Oh yeah, it's good. So you <laughs> it might not be cold water. For all you know, it could be cold whiskey. So there's a uh, 50 Cent. He's a crowd favorite. He's one of my favorite. I like him. I um. I, uh, 
I, I don't. I, I was gonna tell you something. I don't want to tell you. It could be a spoiler. But anyway, he's funny. He's a funny guy. I guess I can give you like a teaser. It's double XL. I'll, I'll let you, you figure that, that out for yourself. Anyway, so we're here. The first. This isn't really gonna be a spoiler, but the first Dead Rising two. Or the, I guess the original, whatever you want to say, started the exact same way. Except for you played as Chuck Green and you were driving around a motorcycle with chainsaws. And this, we're just gonna, we're gonna fisty cup these zombies and punch them right in the throat. And maybe kick them. I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't even remember how to play this game. I'm gonna run at these zombies and... Okay, we're gonna punch. They're gonna punch back. Alright, I'm gonna miss my my kicks. I haven't watched a Bruce Lee movie in a while, so I'm not exactly great hand to hand. Oh, we got 500 bucks. That's a 150 bucks. I'm dyslexic, remember that. Thought that said 510. Oh, this, this guy's got a foam hand. I thought there was a way to. There's a ball, ball bat. I can pick that up. No, I don't want that. Ball bat. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, got that guy. Good. He's got a frying pan. I'll borrow that. Fix this camera angle. I can't see nothing. Yeah. Mm, bitch. I mean, um, you know, dog, I don't want, I don't, I'm not going to try. I'm going to try not to cuss if I can. And if I do cuss, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure I don't use any real cuss words. I'll throw a foam man at him. The foam man is the best weapon in the game. I'm just not high enough level to use it right now. I think you're supposed to, if I remember, you jump up on these. Yeah, jump up on these. And if you jump on this one. And if you take that chair, you need to take the chair with you before you jump on this one or it won't work. You don't need to take the 2x4. That's a trap. You go up here. And then it does that. So that's useful. That gives you like a bunch of points. I really wish we could get gold. I don't see that really happening. I uh, I wish it would happen. I don't see it happening though. You can knock them if you can knock them into the things. That really helps. But I'm I'm having trouble with it. I'm just gonna try and light their disco again here. Like a fire in their inferno. Looks like we got quite a few of them going on here. We might break 10,000 with this if we're lucky. So a bunch of these guys over here didn't get hit. Knocked him into the the saw trap though. Jigsaw set that up. They have a contract with him. We make a lot of references during this uh, this walkthrough. So hopefully you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you're gonna be at a big disadvantage. Alright, maybe we can get the fire started one more time. I don't think we're going to get 25,000 uh, this go. But, uh, I can always restart if that's what you really, really want. Like I said, you know, this is not 100%. I'm bound to die. Probably fail the whole thing entirely. And, you know, probably not take any good pictures either. To be honest. I mean, I might, but no guarantee. Game over. I hope we at least got silver. We did at least get silver. We were, you know, we were, we were halfway there to gold. That's in my book. That's a win. In my book, that's enough. We weren't really here for the money, if you know what I mean. Wink left and wink right. We, I'm talking about the girls. That are really bad. It's about. Dead Rising and the series in general usually has very pretty people. Specifically, the female sex. I mean, don't get me wrong, 50 Cent is, a, is handsome. Very handsome, man. Always wears his shades all the time, every day, all day. Er day. All the time. He is handsome. Frank West is handsome. He's a very handsome man, too. I mean, I'm not gay. Don't sh shut up. When, I'm not saying anything like that. I'm just, you know. I can compliment another man's appearance without being queer, okay? I mean, I hit on the girls first, didn't I? 
That's only 300 bucks. I thought we won 1800, 18,000. Channel 6 news. If you turn back one channel, you'll see hardline news. In case you're wondering if that newscaster was a primary character, he's not. He's not. He's that that might be a, that right there might be a primary character though. And Kira, that might be a thing. Probably isn't. That was a nice clip from the from the cameraman. Like I slipped that in there. I wonder if he even noticed that he did it or was he just like look texting. He's texting looking at his phone, his camera just drifted left. Average citizens. What does that what does that mean? What does average mean? You know, like mid to high class wealthy or I feel like that's kind of offensive to call someone average. One thing I've always wondered, and by always I mean for the past five seconds, is if that blue guy is the same blue guy from the online multiplayer of this game. Actually, not the online, the Dead Rising 2 online multiplayer, where you can actually compete in TIR as uh, one of the four colors, the red, blue, green, and yellow. I've always wondered if yellow was Chuck Green. If blue was that guy, but I might never know. I think, yeah, you run into. I'm not. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to tell you who, who we run into. Uh, we'll talk to these guys. I'm not going to talk to everybody. I'm not going to read the dialogue unless it's funny. Or it's gift though. That's what you want. All right. So guides, I'll just tell you about. It. We're not going to read that. All right. So. Yeah, check him out. We got these nice posters, some sweet looking posters. That's a one piece, right? I mean, that, that looks like a one piece. Anyway, in the middle of the screen, all the way at the top, you see that we got um a bathroom. No, I'm just kidding. This is a save point. If you need to save, you have to go to the bathroom. It looks like, uh, so I got a lot of explanation in there before this next cutscene. So I hope you enjoy that. Uh, leave your comments down below where you think we've seen that pendant Frank West is wearing. If we've seen it at all. And let me know where we've seen the sunglasses before. Because I'd like to know that. I know where the pendant is from. I don't, I don't recall the sunglasses. Is that 50 Cent making a drug deal here at TIR? With uh, Shay? Where's Scooby Doo? What the hell? I mean, if you're gonna take some pictures of celebrities, you gotta at least take a picture of Scooby Doo or maybe Thelma. I know you're thinking Daphne, but trust me, Bubba the Vampire Slayer is nowhere near as hot as Grandma. Gran Grandma Boys? Grandma. Is it Grandma's Boys? I think it is. Anyway, that girl in that movie is really hot. She's the one who plays uh, Thelma. In, in the Scooby-Doo movie? Anyway. Um, okay. So, left trigger, right bumper. And then you, uh, you got your camera. This is gonna be a slightly big deal, I guess. We'll take some pictures. We got the special and the drama. Nobody really cares about those when the PP shows up. Because when you get the PP up there, you get bonus points. I think, uh, it's like prestige points. It doesn't really mean like urine or anything like that. It's prestige points or potential points or I think it's prestige. Power points. No, it probably does have something to do with dick though. Anyway. Zoom in and out. Get a nice shot right there. We get some special. And there's like uh I don't know six or seven different kinds of photos. Like the special was one, the drama was one that we got a minute ago. And, um, I don't really get uh, action one and gore, maybe something like that. I don't really care about any of those. The best is obviously the erotic one. I'm gonna try and get that as best I can. There are uh, quite a few types of collectibles in this game. We're not gonna be going for those. Uh, in case you're wondering about that, so by this point, I doubt anyone's watching. I mean, I don't, I'm not offering anything at all right here. Yeah, I'm showing you how to work the camera. I guess. I zoom in on that shot if I get zoomed in. 
So he's got a briefcase for money. And, um... Some type of Lego contraption. Probably some type of starship. Definitely not plastic explosives or anything like that. There was an Easter egg. I'm going to try and get the Easter eggs if, if I can. <coughs> where I see them. But there was one around here somewhere. I don't really remember. Nah, maybe not. Unless you want to count the loading screen as Easter egg. I mean, it's kind of cool, right? Anyway. See, like, that was a perfect example of what I don't count as a cuss word. It is, damn it. <laughs> not not going to count that as a cuss word. Alright, looks like the mid and black found me. Or, um, maybe that's Tupac? Oh, they're fan. Oh, they're just fanboys looking for autographs. Is that Tupac again? He cloned himself twice. Or is oh wait, one's a hologram. That's right. That's right. So one's a zombie. Cause that that is possible in this. And then the other. Is it is. It's really hard to win this fight, but it is possible. It looks like it's really possible right now. Usually I get my ass handed me by these guys. I, mm, nailed them that time. Once they drop the the pipe. I mean, I just went to town and wailed on those guys. Yeah, you still got it. I think it's cool how you, you know, certain things you do. Not major. Well, yeah, major things too. But certain things you do can change the outcome. Like, right there. Um... If he would have lost that fight, he'd come running out of the out of the room like that. He wouldn't have said what he said. He wouldn't. I don't think he would have said anything. Like, you know, basically, you know, the whole outcome before he just ran into the girl would be totally different if I lost that fight. But I mean, I knew I knew we were gonna win, so I thought I'd tell you about it. We were never gonna lose that fight. She's just jealous. She wishes she had pecs like me. That was, that's like a really dramatic strut. That's not even arousing because of how dramatic it is. I want to know, they're supposed to be twins, but I want to know, does one dye their hair? If they're twins, I would assume they'd have the same hair color too, right? So one of them's got to have dyed black or dyed blonde. Maybe they both have dyed hair. Maybe they're both brunettes. So you saw a poster right there that's for Zombrex. That's basically like high-end heroin, black tar, you know, stuff like that. Really good stuff. Has really good effects. It only has negative effects when you stop taking it. You know, like withdrawal kind of things. Makes you hungry for other humans. But anyway. Uh, here we are. Looks like the action's about to start. I mean, I know we've been into a few scuffles here and there before this point, but now it's really about to pop off. In case you were wondering. So. Oh man, she got me. She got me. She got me. She got blood all over my varsity jacket. How could she? I was in high school 20 years ago. So that dude's probably dead. I feel sorry for him. You know, wearing the varsity jacket, he was probably really looking forward to his high school reunion. To, to look at all of his classmates and see that, like, they got fat and he didn't. That dude risked his life to save Frank West. He's like a hero. Man, I can't. I hope you can't hear that. If you can hear it, that's a train. But if you can, you can't hear it. It's nothing at all. Man, we got a lot of horror, brutality, drama. So there's another one, brutality. I could take this right here and take a flashlight and mm, bash that guy in the face with it. Just cause. I'm gonna take an axe and uh, we'll keep going. Explosion, explosion galore. Oh, Drake's dead! I really like his music. Noah's dead. Uh, Noel Devine, maybe? Nah, he's not dead, he's too fast. So we gotta, we're gonna get the, we're gonna be getting achievements? That's kinda cool. I don't know what that one is. I should've, I should've popped it. We'll pop it next time, I'm sure it's nothing important. And then we'll look at what prom night is. I'm sure it's nothing important. 
probably like kill a zombie for the first time or something stupid like that. Anyway, mm, bash on these long enough to get some cash. You're gonna need the cash. You need a lot of cash. I'm probably gonna have to um, at some point grind off screen for cash. You need a lot of cash being necessary. Well, might as well get my cap on. We're gonna be getting into some stuff at this point, so might as well get prepared. It's a T R R. It's a T I R. Terror's reality. I think it might even be better for me to say Terror's reality than use the abbreviation, because I might just flummox the abbreviation. I tell you, if you really want to stick it to them, this is how you get them. Mm. Uh, miss. Mm. That was not a miss. There we go. I, um, one thing I guess I can show you is like a benefit at some point, but not right now. We gotta get out. Everybody's doing, dying, doing. Everybody's doing. I, Oscar's dead. Everybody dead. Everybody, everybody dead. One thing I don't even remember what I'm supposed to do on them. I can't really focus and talk at the same time. Anyway, I think we're supposed to go this way or that way, or I think we're actually supposed to leave through the front. So we'll do that. Um. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I guess one thing I can show you as we go is uh, the weapon combination system. I don't know if, that, if that'd be a spoiler or not. That looks like it says Obama right there, kind of like the bottom right on the on the movie listings. Looks like it's soon. I'm sure it's not Obama. Really close. Uh, but anyway, um, there are a lot of different weapon combinations you can make. You can make some really interesting looking stuff very effective and all uh I can remember I can't remember and I won't show you them oh man this I remember when this game came out I thought it looked really good I don't remember what year it came out it's, it's kind of recent was it 2011 maybe 2010 I could be wrong but I want to say that but anyway playing on Xbox one makes everything look horrible and th trust me, that's not that's not a compliment to the Xbox One. I'm not a hundred percent sold on the console, but I can admit that the games do look good. They might not run the best, or sometimes at all, but damn it, they look good. And the 60 frames per second, I'm not really sold on that either. I mean, 30, I mean, 60 frame, 32, thir I mean, 30, doesn't really matter to me. I heard some people it just kind of makes them sick, but. Uh, or it gets, it gets head. I guess that's your uh, daily dose of doctor for the day. We're gonna go into the emergency shelter. And uh, you know, I haven't been running. I haven't been running the timer on this. Probably should do that. I don't even know how long we've been going. Tell me in the comments down below how long we've been going. That way I know when to stop. And when do you want me to stop? And um, you ever get tired of hearing my voice? recommend that you read the tips up at the top hints tips and tricks all the way at the top loading screen there recommend that I don't recommend that woman's cargo pants no one's gotten a hand job in cargo pants since now allegedly allegedly maybe because we're in a concrete shelter I mean, isn't this like a bomb shelter or something like that? I mean, you know what this is kind of made for? And it's supposed to be thick enough to block bombs. So, wouldn't it be thick enough to block your sh your little cell phone signal? I almost said the S word. I almost said it, but I didn't. So, if you're waiting, if you're playing a drinking game waiting for me to say it, you know, you're not, don't drink right there. Don't do it. You'll be getting drunk for nothing. Nobody likes to get drunk for nothing. Gotta get drunk for something. Why is he so shovy? I'm Frank West. Let's be friends. Alright, well, I'll be a friend and you be a jerk. Speaking of friends... Uh, I was going to say something, but now he's making me nervous. I'm pretty sure that's an empty box. Three days worth. So... Whether that's a spoiler or not, Thanks. we're more or less going to be here for three days. So, you might as well get comfortable. We're going to be here a while. I'll be sure to change his outfit. I know, I know, I know you might get bored. But, uh, 
we're gonna we're gonna rock the jeans and t-shirt with the cap today. We are we're, we're probably gonna keep the shades on for the entire let's play because that's that's one of his redeeming qualities besides his uh, his pecs, man chest, hair, and uh, his gruff uh, five o'clock shadow. So his five o'clock shadow isn't gonna do a booty shot. Five o'clock shadow isn't gonna change. I'm not gonna change his pecs in any way. We're not gonna work out any more or any less than he already does. And we're not gonna get rid of his shades, so don't worry about that. And I probably won't change his hair <clears throat> his hair either. Cutscene, you know what that means. Cold water taste. <sighs> oh man, that's good. That's good with whisker. Whisker whisker? Whiskey. With water, I mean. Um uh, what that say dent right? What does that mean? There was something in that cabinet that said dent right, I think. I don't know what that means what that's for. This is a no smoking area though. So put your cigarettes out. And I, even those stupid little generic cigarettes that's supposed to be safe safe smoke cigarettes for children or something like that, don't smoke those either. I don't I don't approve. Anyway, um that's Stacy, I think. Foresight? Foreskin? I, I don't remember. That's her name, though. I think she just said it, yeah. Oh, her name's Frank. Frank West. Nice to meet you. I'm Frank West. Bluetooth headset. That's how you know this game evolved. Because if you played the old ones, you just used a walkie-talkie. Now, oh boy. We got a Bluetooth headset. I'm not sure how that really works. I thought, like, well, I mean, I guess it works fine. I guess it works fine. I'm used to Bluetooth being, like, connected to a cell phone or something like that. But he, as far as I know, don't have one of those. We do have a map, though. Maybe it wirelessly connects to the map. I guess we'll never know. Uh, we might know. That'll be, like, a plot point later on. Fortune City map acquired, so we are in Fortune City. And this game has checkpoints. I don't think the old Dead Rising 2 had checkpoints. I know the first Dead Rising didn't have checkpoints. So saving was a big deal. Checkpoints, uh, I think every time you enter a new area, exit, whatever, you'll get a checkpoint. And then we got uh, the military countdown. So we got 72 hours more or less before the military shows up and pretty much causes chaos with firebombing. I, I don't know if they said it yet. It's going to be firebombing, spoiler alert. Which basically means, you know, they're going to rain down fire. Or where. And we got our, uh, I think, I think that's, um, ah, uh, what's that clock? That's a, uh, um, uh, I can't remember. Anyway, that's a good, that's like a good clock. I think there was an Easter egg for the clock. I can't remember though. It is a Rolex. That that might be an Easter egg. And then we got Zombrex. I bet you're tired of looking at screens. So I'll hit the A button. And uh, urgent calls. That would be where we get our main quests and side quests primarily. And uh, uh, server bots there on the right. They're important. You might saw Chuck Green there in the middle. Or maybe you didn't. In case you weren't paying attention or don't know who he is. I don't really need the flashlight. I think I might. I'm, I'm going to hold on to it. Definitely gonna want the milk and maybe the juice. We'll hold on to both. I'm not gonna talk to anybody in here. They don't have anything to say. I'm gonna get us moving. I don't think I have any. You can go in the bathroom and save and also change your clothes. I don't think we have any. No, doesn't look like it, but uh, we're, we're good to go. We look fine. Anyway, Kirby here. Looks like you lost some weight and got some skin tone. Uh, usually behind here is something I guess we'll never know. I thought there used to be a chainsaw there. Maybe that's later in the game. Another cutscene. So vents are a big deal in this series. I think all the games except for the third one implement venting in some way as a mode of transportation. <laughs> that was me coughing. Uh, food court PP. Um, when you get some tacos, you'll probably see me carrying juice around a lot.
because uh, food is what you use to replenish your health. That's a tip. Um, if you feel like giving me a tip for that tip, you can. But you don't have to. Anyway, I'll be carrying juice around a lot. Probably one carton. We usually do it. But there is a lot of food around, but not always a lot of good food. But if you do need some type of food, you know, it's around. But as you can see, we're super slow. I might drop the axe for his signature ball bat. In case you didn't know, Frank West always uses a ball bat. And, um, let's see. Uh, yeah, messages, side quests, that's all that's talking about. So we're going to answer the phone. Slash Bluetooth. So we're in the Royal Flush Plaza. We're going to go to Roy's Mart. And, uh, lots of places to get money, that's what that's talking about. And one of the new things in this game that wasn't in any of the other games is these little security box, like safety box keys. And, uh, you can take those keys to the bank. And, um, get stuff out of, out of the, the deposit boxes, I guess. And, well, I don't guess, because I know, but I, I'm not, I'm not going to talk too much about it. We'll get around to it, and when we do, you're going to enjoy it. I'm almost positive. At least I hope you enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, I don't, I don't really know what to say. I'm, it's going to be really awkward. Okay, so... Alright, uh, Bowie Knife. Oh, uh, one cool thing. Let's, let's try it. So you can, like, you hold, you hold it. Sometimes it does animations for different weapons. That's a pretty cool one. Don't... I don't really like the buoy knife though, so mm, I do like the flashlight. It does pretty much zero damage, but looks really cool to run and mm, smack him right in the face. It also makes a really cool noise. I don't know if you can hear it, but trust me, it's cool. One thing I like about this series is all the different weapons you can do and different things you can do. I think you can also pick up these and you throw them. There's a lot of things you can do in the game, like get. Like prestige points whatnot. Anyway, we didn't get any right there. We're supposed to be heading to Roy's Mart. Except for we gotta get this dude off of us first. He's trying to get all up on our business. But he didn't pay first, so he's not allowed. Hmm. Oh, well, that's not good. Let's see if they're weak to milk. Alright, I found out that milk is not the undead weakness. Maybe a fist. Right in the, mm, right in the gob. So there's a bunch of construction workers around. It's kind of weird to see on account that most of the construction is done. Except for one portion, I guess. But I'm wondering how he made his way over here. We'll play slot machines just one. Oh, he won the jackpot? Oh, yeah. That's a really good way to make money right there. Like, quick cash. Not a lot of cash, but quick cash. Because, uh... Oh, man. I think... I think I'm going to want a weapon before we go in there. Spoiler alert. I don't know what weapon to get. I can think of some really good weapons. Let me, let me see. We'll go up here. I'll show you a little secret. This is a little secret. A little tidbit. A little tidbit secret. Alright. Uh, let's see. Yeah, around this area. Gotta swarm through all the zombies. And then, uh, yes. The Doctor Who telephone booth. You want to jump on it. And then position yourself over here and then jump up here. And then, um, jump right there. Doesn't look like you can really make that jump, but you can. You can make all these jumps. Frank West is a jumper extraordinaire. I think he's got he's some Hispanic in him. There we go. We got a ninja sword. Or a katana. And a ninja hood. I'm going to trade it back for the ball cap, though. But, um, some stuff like that, you can get the full suit of, and it'll give you, like, uh, I'll drop the juice for the sushi. It'll give you like uh It'll give you like some type of character perks, bonuses or whatnot. Here's one of my favorite weapons in the game. The male mannequin. No, I'm kidding, it's not the male mannequin, it's the chef knife. Because it has one of those instant kill death animations I was talking about. It's pretty it's got a pretty cool one. Anyway. Jump over. And um Throw some dynamite just for fun. I'm not really here for the dynamite. We're gonna get this sniper rifle. We'll be needing it later. Alright, 
So we're taking damage from fall. You can't take fall damage. Oh, yeah, I love that. Oh, man, isn't that great? I don't know if you can hear it. It makes like a little... It makes like a little sound when you do it, too. Like a, a horror movie sound. This dude, that's great. Like, he came running at us. Yeah, so that's one of my favorites. We'll switch to the ninja sword. This is a really great combat weapon. So most weapons have like like two attacks, there's like a strong attack, which would be that for the sword. Basically if you hold the X button, it'll give like a strong attack, he'll like swing it as hard as he can. Or you can just mash the X button and he'll swing it as fast as he can. So there's those two things. We got up here, we need this pineapple. Oh. Drop the sword for a second. And there you go, we got some health and now we're ready to go. I've wasted enough time, let's get in here and see what's awaiting us. Probably a cutscene. I'm not sure. It looks like it is. There's that box again. It says dead dent light or something. Dent right? I want to know what that is. What is it? Leave, leave in the comments below what you think that is. And who are these guys? That's his motto. He says that all the time. But all the time, at least. Like, I mean, at least once again. Why would you check a pharmacy for money? Wouldn't they have just as much money as any other place? I mean, there's a bunch of slot machines. I mean, this this is a mall we're at, and it's also like a casino. I mean, isn't there like other places you can get money? I found a key on the way over here to a safety deposit box. It's probably loaded with cash. Oh man, he thinks he's cute. He's gonna be real cute. I'm gonna bash his skull in here in a minute. These dudes are kind of creepy, though. Yeah, give him some money, Grandpa. I think these dudes are kind of like a throwback to the convicts from the original Dead Rising. They kind of remind me of them. Alright, so here we have a mini-boss fight, I guess. We're going to basically just get nailed in the face by them and then counter-attack for the win. They activated my trap card. This is just gonna wait for it, I guess. And there you go, that's how you do that. Easy as could be. And by that, I mean it could have been easier. I mean, we had a ninja sword, we had the skills required to handle that scenario. Now we have a very awkward looking key. A very cardboard cutout looking key. <coughs> that was me coughing again. So where was this zombie right here in the cutscene? How did he get in here? What was he doing? Right, we're gonna take this and throw it. Cause see, look, there's money right there. That's all they had to do. All right. So <clears throat> if you talk to, you can find people out in the open. You can talk to them, and uh, basically Frank will convince them to come back with you to like the safe house or the shelter or whatnot, and, and they join your party. And um. You can give them weapons to defend themselves. That's why I got this uh, sniper rifle. You can also feed them to get their health back up if they start to lose health. And um, basically if you get them back to the shelter you can get XP or potential points. Which is great. Because then mm -hmm. you can run faster than one freaking mile per hour. Because I don't know if you've noticed but we're not hauling ass at this point. But uh, hopefully down the line we will. Hopefully. All right, so we got we got Zombrex. You only need to take that once every 24 hours. I'm waiting for them to come out come out with a um, extra strength version that can last at least 48. I mean, because once a day is kind of getting crazy. So anyway, there it is. We got our this is our uh, map and our quest board or mission board or whatever you want to call it. Our adventure board magic briefcase board um so it shows our clock the date and uh our current objective which is basically to wait for zombrex to be needed for administration we don't need zombrex right now it says right there 7 a.m and uh, between 7 a.m we need to take it if we don't let things happen and you can't take it early or bad things happen but you can take it during that 50 minutes, 59 minutes, and bad things won't happen. 
That is a, a guarantee by the Zombrex Corporation. Oh, they mean stat. Oh. Usually, if you hit them, they'll they'll hit you back for like evens. Gotta get evens. Anyway, so I don't know. Guess we'll just run around. We do need to wait until until uh, Zombrex is needed. Hopefully, we get some side quest. I don't plan on doing a whole lot of side quests. I'm gonna try and stick to the main story, but. The main story has a lot of uh, times in it where uh, there's nothing to do but side quests, and during that time I, w I will do side questing. Um, basically just for show, just for show, just for fun, like a little extra tidbit because a lot of them are very colorful and very funny and some of them are really freaking sexy, so you know, maybe we'll run across some of the, the nicer looking male characters and uh, I, can, I can show both them. Show them off. But in the meantime, we're just gonna run around with a chef knife and enjoy stabbing people. This lady looks like she really wants it, so I'm gonna stab her real good. Oh, save me! Save me! Usually they'll get grabbed like that. You hear them get grabbed. I heard them. I heard her get grabbed. She's okay. They'll break away from it eventually, sometimes, and then other times not. You have to go and help them. I don't really want to help though, so. Um, anyway, I'm gonna take her, I'm gonna go ahead and take her back to the, uh, to the safe house and we'll get some bonus, we'll get some potential points, maybe bonus points. As you can see in the upper left, we ha we are level one and then it has the blue bar for prestige points. And it looks like it's almost filled up, which means we're gonna level up and then poss possibly unlock something cool. Maybe we can throw a knife farther than five feet, I mean that was just, that was embarrassing. If I was anyone but Frank West, I think I'd be getting laughed at all the time by everybody. So you saw back there, she didn't break away on her own. Sometimes they do, sometimes they get lucky. I think it has to do with other zombies. Like if sometimes maybe a zombie will knock into her, it can break them away. Or knock into them, it'll break away. Most of the time, they kind of just sit there and wait for you to come and help. Because they're, they're just hopeless. There are, there are magazines or books in the game that give you different types of abilities. One of the abilities is um is to make your uh, minions or helpers or your elves a little bit better in combat and by that they mean that they'll die at the same rate but have a less chance of getting grabbed which is kinda cool I think we load up and it, show, it usually shows on the next uh, loading screen what you got and it looked like a roundhouse kick right there. Roundhouse. So we're basically uh, one tenth of Chuck Norris right now. So that's kind of good. This dude is just all around a Debbie Downer. He's not happy about anything. I mean, how come? How come he don't like my Levi jeans? I love these things. See, we leveled up. Level up, unlock different stuff. Inventory. We got an inventory increase and a new skill move acquired. And 10,000 PP. So, you know. Oh, and it says down there at the bottom, we unlock the roundhouse kick, which is, uh, I think the, the, hold the right trigger, hold A or something like that. I don't, I don't remember. Anyway, this looks like a good spot to stop. I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, he looks kind of tired. I'm going to stretch a little bit. We'll, just, we'll stop right here. We'll stop right here. And then you give me some feedback. You tell me how you thought about this. If you, I mean, how, how, what do you think about this? If you don't think this was great, then I'll do another video. If you think it's great, then I'll do another video. So, um, you know, just go ahead and leave in the comments down below all you know the answers, all the questions I, I asked you. And then also for the last question, you know, how do you feel about this? Anyway, until next time. Bye.